we're going with that. All right. Hmm. Yes, I think we are live. All right. We are? Yes, we are. Oh, because I just got a message uh, saying that we are not. So hold on a second. I'm going to verify that. We are live. We're going with that. All right. Um, that is awesome. So good morning, everyone. I see the quite a number of people here. Um, and um, we are very honored today uh, to have, you know, all of you here, uh, both staff of Better Breed, uh, our host, uh, you know, and a uh, very honorable Auntie Felicia, the virtuous woman that uh, most of us know. So a couple of housekeeping before we start. Please mute yourselves when you're not speaking. If you want to speak, please unmute yourself, but it may help if you can raise uh, your hand if you have that option in the, um, you know, in the interaction box, in the chat box, you can raise your hand or uh, if somebody says something that you think it's great, you can use a thumbs up or, you know, you can clap. Uh, that way we keep everything very orderly. Uh, also to ensure that there are no interruptions in the signal. So without further ado, I am just a passersby here. Uh, you are in the hands of our executive director, Monique Kwachu, uh, Patrick Mayo, one of our hosts, Apollonia, also another host, and again, our very own honorable Auntie Felicia. Ladies and gentlemen, the floor is yours. Thank you. Over to the MC and Felicia. Oh, thank you, Ali. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Monique. I, in fact, I like when, when I see that doctor in front of your name. You don't, you don't accept it very often. Okay. So today, we don't got to hear. I'll be sure say we're not ready because it go woo woo today. When I permit, permit when I auntie today, make it express itself for Queen's English. When I feel see for my look, so this one has special occasion, so I don't dress to kill. You don't see? So when I feel see kinky, it bounce, water wave. Okay, so when I feel remember some months back, I mean, tell when I see a lie writing and say that big university, I be the right, but I know we get platforms the way I fulfill put that writing to use. Now, for their way, I tell when I too about Better Breed Cameroon, their writing initiative, is a writing initiative. When I hear the annual thing, okay, make a switch now, go English. I wish you said that's what I'm going to say, talk, you know, small English. So, so Better Breed um, is really a non-profit um, youth organization that is focused on um, youth development and empowerment. And so this, they have these um, yearly, this annual uh, um, contest called the Samarandi Youth Ride Contest. And the inspiration behind it is to see how they can make the youth, especially undergraduate youth, be more engaged in having these critical discussions about things in the society. So this year, the competition, the contest, was focused on the theme on being and becoming Cameroonian. See, with the way the country day now, uh, this issue of identity and everything, it's a big issue. So the theme behind uh, Better Breed said, no, this is something we should explore. And so they gave the opportunity to undergraduate students to look into, in, into this and then you know, write essays, they can write letters, whatever they are inspired to do. And so today is the award ceremony. <laughs> I like that you see on a day here with a small sweet cover, right? And so today we'll get a very, the program not go long. It's a very brief program. We want to just get to the nectar of it. But to start this, I want to 
bring now the executive coordinator of Better Breed Cameroon, Dr. Monique Quacho. Smart, is smart, is beautiful. She's a youth writer, she is a youth worker, she's a scholar of gender studies and uh, Nourish Development. Education, now edu ed education for development, no doctor. Education for development. Now, please see, now correct woman. Mm? I'm a kind of woo woman. So I will call on Dr. Molina to tell us one or two things about you know um, the better breed and the summer around the youth right from. Antifeli, thank you so much for that introduction and all the compliments and flattery. Um, welcome to everybody. Welcome to all our winners. Welcome to all our followers. Thank you for joining us as we want to celebrate those who made it today, with those who made it for the Summer Randy Youth Ride Contest 2022. Um, I'll be speaking in English, but there will be someone else. One of our co-hosts, Patrick, will be speaking in French. And in an attempt to welcome the French participants as well. Um, just a brief statement. As Ati Felicia said, Better Bid Cameroon is a youth development focused organization. We are passionate about enabling uh, or fostering a better generation of Cameroonians. And by better generation of Cameroonians, what we mean is who are more engaged. Cameroonians are more engaged, more active citizens, that uh, we don't need so many leaders. We actually need more active citizens, those that are committed, those that want to see their country do better, those that um, are interested in raising the flag high, those that just want a better life for Cameroonians and a better place, and for Cameroon to be a better place. So one of the ways we do this is through our youth essay contest. We engage young people to think critically about their society and whatever is going on internationally or nationally, to share their opinions, because we know that in our society, we have had, um, we have made young people think they should be seen and not heard. And they keep being told that they are the future. We believe that they are the present as well. So we want to hear what they have to say today. We want to engage them and share their voice and amplify their voices. So that's why we have the Summer Randy Youth Ride Contest. The contest was named after one of our um, founding members that passed away suddenly in 2015. So today we are celebrating those that, uh, whose essays, whose voices struck our judges, Patrick and Apollonia, while they were reading the entries. I want to first of all say, Congrats to everybody who submitted, because just submitting means trying, and that's a lot. So congrats to everybody who submitted. Well done to you. And congrats even more so to those we're celebrating today who will brandish their certificates and receive their cash in the course of this award show. We hope that will motivate other people to enter next year. Patrick, over to you. Hello. Do we, Patrick? Uh, we have Patrick Mario. Patrick is was one of our judges. Um, uh, he he would he would explain whatever um, Dr. Monique has said in in French. He will explain what. Okay. Monique. Merci, 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 Anti Felicia. Uh, merci, merci, Monique. Donc, uh, bienvenue à à, à tous nos. Uh, tous nos auditeurs qui, qui s'expriment en français. C'est un plaisir de vous avoir sur, sur, sur ce programme, sur cet échange. Euh, C'est forcément la conclusion de, euh, de la compétition qui a trait euh, à Santi Rama, qui était un des, des fondateurs de Better Breed. Et c'est une, une compétition que nous tenons chaque année. Euh, donc c'est un plaisir à chaque fois de voir à quel point il y a un engouement autour de ce qui se fait. Et euh, Better Breed, euh, est, une, est une ONG camerounaise qui a justement euh, ce désir, cette vision 
euh, de pouvoir porter la voix des jeunes, de pouvoir voir les jeunes s'exprimer sur ce qui est important concernant le Cameroun, son avenir. Et euh, nous estimons que le thème de cette année sur être et, et devenir camerounais euh, justement est approprié. En ce moment où il y a pas mal de changements dans notre écosystème, euh, il est important de voir ce que les jeunes pensent sur le fait euh, d'être et de, et de devenir camerounais. Donc, euh, c'est une euh, compétition qu'on fait chaque année, c'était le thème de cette année. Euh, on a été assez impressionné de voir toutes les personnes euh, qui ont euh, voulu bien soumettre leur, euh, leur participation. Euh, et on félicite déjà toutes les personnes qui ont euh, accepté de se prêter à l'exercice. On a été impressionné par euh, vos idées, par le contenu des, des éléments que vous avez bien voulu partager, par vos réflexions sur le Cameroun, sur être et devenir camerounais. Et euh, ça, ça donne à réfléchir parce qu'à chaque fois, on est tout autant impressionné par la qualité des échanges et la qualité des, des comptes qui sont produits. Donc, ça va être un échange assez intéressant avec notre, notre, notre MC anti Felicia Et puis, euh, on aura l'occasion de remettre les fruits. Donc, euh, restez connectés parce qu'il y aura euh, forcément des questions. Euh, félicitations à, aux gagnants déjà d'avance, mais aussi, comme je disais, à toutes les personnes qui ont bien voulu participer au nom de, au nom de Better Brief. Donc, euh, merci. Thank you. Thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we would now move to, to um, Apollonia. Apollonia is one of the judges. Um, we would want her to, to, to tell us a bit um, about, about um, the judging process and um, tell us about the winners. She would introduce to us the winners, um, the English winners of the Summer and the Youth Rep Contest. Thank you very much, Auntie Felicia. It's an honor to be with uh, everyone here today. Thank you, Monique, for this beautiful initiative and uh, a special greetings to all the participants, especially the winners. Um, truly, this has been quite the experience. I had never been called up to be a judge for a writing contest before. So uh, for Baptism of Fire, I think it was a pretty beautiful one because we had very interesting entries. Um, I'm not ashamed to say I learned from some of them, really. There were some quite enlightening pieces of um, um, writings, some went creative, some went academic, some went um, satirical, um, some actually just expressed what they had in them about how they felt about being and becoming Cameroonian. Um, at some point, um, it became a bit difficult because you would realize that some people were saying the same things differently um, with a little more pertinence and a little less in some areas. So um, making a choice sometimes boiled down to a certain number of um, criteria, which we are really happy Better Breed uh, made available to us. For example, we um, graded on grammar, on creativity, originality, uh, and also on argumentation, because it wasn't really only about having ideas. It was also, please, I am going to ask participants to kindly mute themselves if they don't have the floor. Chers participants, veuillez désactiver vos micros lorsque vous n'avez pas la parole, s'il vous plaît. Merci. So um, it, it was really interesting to see how um, young people perceived the country and them in it as citizens. I think it is a beautiful exercise and I love it that Better Breed is um, renewing this experience every year. I think that more and more youth and young people should be given a chance to take part in these talks because we don't give them um, many outlets or platforms to express how they feel. So this was really beautiful. I loved it. And I think now we are going to go on to the more interesting part of this ceremony. Um, I'm going to start with the third, the person who got third place. I see it's um, Nfosi Hope Barry. 
please, I need to precise here that while we were doing all the um, judging and marking and all, we didn't have personal information of all participants. So this is this was done with the most um, true and honest way possible. So the third place goes to Nforsi Hope Barry. I don't know if she's here. If she's here, I would really love her to briefly tell us about her piece. If it had a title, she could just briefly tell us about it and what inspired her to produce this beautiful piece. Hope, are you there? Um, could you say third, third place in what language? Let's just say third place. In for... English, in English. I am going to be oh. presenting the, 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 the winners yeah, of the... Um, uh, okay. Those who wrote in English language, I think Patrick will handle the French, the French writers. Okay, right. okay. So, just a quick statement. Um, after hope, after your discussion with Apollonia, um, we with for everybody, Lorraine is on standby, our administrators on standby to send the cash awards immediately. You um, are discussed with and issued your certificate that you have then just confirm. Lorraine? Okay, go on, thank you. All right, Hope, you have the floor. Thank you very much. My good afternoon to everyone here present. We hope Barry and see the AC contest, summer youth brandy test I was I was thrilled and well when I thought when be, on being and becoming Cameroonian when the team came to my mind most of the kind of things I could think about was the fact that um, a majority of youths focusing on youths my peers, what I often get them see, I came to realize that most of them or most of us are just Cameroonians for the fact that we were born that way because we don't have, um, it wasn't our choice, we were born to be Cameroonians, but then we forget the fact that being Cameroonian uh, goes way more than just being born a Cameroonian, but what you have to offer. So my focus being Cameroonian as being um, having the sense of belonging, surpassing the fact that you were born there, but being a family member, playing your role, and also being a lover to Cameroon. All right, thank you very much. Um, move, do move. you think this was a difficult exercise? How did you feel about your writing process? Was it difficult for you to treat the topic and go through it and everything? Just tell us about your experience. Um, it wasn't really difficult. The uh, I think whatever was that I got the information late, so I just had too many ideas mm -hmm. running in my mind. And I remember submitting at exactly 11.59 at Network. <laughs> Luckily enough for me, I, I did the dead, deadline before the next day. So the major challenge was trying to pick that which is more mm -hmm. relevant mm -hmm. to our mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. and, it was, it was a great experience oh, and for me to put on my thinking cap. <laughs> that's wonderful. Please, I'm going to remind uh, joining people who are joining us, uh, dear participants, please, you're welcome. Kindly mute your microphone when you get in the hall so that you don't disrupt the sound flow. Um, so I wish to ask you, how did you find out about the contest? Because if you're telling us that you submitted at what few seconds to the end of the deadline, when did you, how did you find out on what platform did you get the information from? I actually saw it on WhatsApp, on WhatsApp, a friend of mine, I saw it on his status and then I went to the website, I read about everything and the uh, instructions for submission. So. I took to the initiative to do something and then submit. 
That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You can see Monique is really happy <laughs> because I think one of the beautiful things that Metabreed does is that it uses all available platforms to talk about their impact and all of the different actions that they carry out. So you would see them on Instagram, you see them on Twitter, you find them on Facebook. You see Monique really pushing hard on WhatsApp. And yes, I sometimes do the same too. <laughs> so it's really good to hear about your experience. So congratulations. Um, perhaps when you get your alert, maybe you come back on and show us how beautiful your message looks like. So thank you very much, Hope, and congratulations. We are going to move on to um, the second, the second, the winner who took second place. Um, please forgive me if I, I I don't pronounce your name right. I'm I'm really trying. So I see Awansa Tafak Umel. Did I pronounce that right? Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Imel, welcome. Uh, thank you. Good Can afternoon I to see everyone. You. Oh, hi, hello, it's good to see you. So congratulations for second place. Thank you, Miss. So can you tell us, like, um, what did you write about? What was your piece about? And, you know, just brief us on what you submitted. Oh, so the piece I wrote was actually uh, an open letter to all Cameroonians. So, um, when I saw the, uh, because I learned about the contest through a poster that was uh, I saw in on campus on the notice board, so that's the, the first thing that came to my mind. I thought of writing an essay, then I then later on I diverted to the idea of an open letter addressed to every Cameroonian. And can you tell us what you said in that letter? Because well, I read, I obviously read what you did, even if, even if I didn't know it was you, I read what you did. But for those who couldn't read what you submitted, could you just tell them what it is you talked about? Okay, so um, the inspiration behind my piece was actually, uh, so I had this class once, a philosophy class, and the teacher was talking about active and passive citizenship. So when I saw the team on being and becoming a Cameroonian, my mind immediately went back to that class active and passive citizenship. So uh, my letter essentially revolves around that word being a Cameroonian, that's passive citizenship and uh, becoming a Cameroonian, active citizenship and participating in the change that we want to see in our country. Thank you so much for those details. This actually really takes me back because I think your work was one of those that really taught me a lot and I loved how you presented it. Are you studying law in the university or something? No, I just have a passion for writing. I'm actually That's beautiful student. because because I really love the way you you argued your way through it and how you presented your point. So really, congratulations. But now, um, I, I'd like to know, uh, and I really hope, I really hope that I don't know how Better Breed does this, but I don't know if it could be possible maybe for um some of these essays, the essays of the winners, to be made available on the website so that some people can actually get acquainted with them. Because I thought there were some really good pieces like yours, which deserve to, you know, be read by a greater number of people. So um now I would like to know. Um oh okay, I'm getting some questions here. Some people would like to know more about that. Like what do you call an active citizen and what do you call a passive citizen? Uh, so basically, the way I define the, a passive citizen is actually someone who is content with the status quo. So that's someone who is a Cameroonian because he was born in Cameroon. So Jews sanguinists, I think in law that refers to uh, a birthright. So obtaining citizenship from our birthright. So the, the passive Cameroonian, the passive citizen doesn't do anything actually to, to change things. He's content with the way things are. And when you... Uh, speak with this kind of people, they're like, well, it has always been like this. There's no way we can change it. We just have to live with it. And uh, the active citizenship is some, uh, it's a state where someone actually sees uh, a better option and works towards that ideal that he has in his or her mind. So active citizenship can be as little as um, setting up a cleaning campaign in your quarter or uh, doing this work that Better Bridge Cameroon is doing. It can be very little, uh, very little things, such as organizing a, uh, a cleanup campaign or doing the work that Better is doing, for example, educating the youths, helping them with uh, development projects and so on and so forth. 
Well, there you have it. Honestly, I, I think that was a wonderful way of saying it because being Cameroonian, you naturally become a Cameroonian because you're born in the country with every advantage that comes with it. But becoming Cameroonian, like you say, it's really actively, you know, making sure that the country is what you envisage it to be. I really love that piece. So thank you so much for blessing us with it. And now I'm going to ask you, like I asked Hope, how did you hear about the contest? On which platform did you get the information from? Uh, so I got the information from a poster and a notice board on campus. I took a picture and then I started thinking about um, brainstorming. And how would you describe your writing experience? Did you do it last minute like hope or you really took your time? Uh, well, I took uh, about uh, a week because I had some exams during, the, during that period. So I had to finish off my exams, my semester exams. And then I had uh, about four days to sit down and really think about what I wanted to express through my writing. Beautiful, Emel. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just going maybe to say you're one of my favorites because another thing I really loved about your writing was that your grammar was among the best of all the participants. I don't know, what do you do in your free time? Do you read books? Do you go to libraries? What do you do? Do you read a lot? Do you write a lot? Yeah, I read a lot and I, I write a lot. It's, it's true, I don't write a lot as I used to do before, but uh, I try. I read a lot. Well, a lot. You, you should definitely get back to writing. I think you have a beautiful style going on there. Um, so what would you tell those who didn't participate this year? What would you tell them to do that um, would make them, you know, be a winner such as yourself? Would you ask them to read more, to be more informed, to keep their eye out on information such as this? What would you tell them to do? Yeah, like you said, I think it's uh, be getting informed, being informed, being uh, up to date about current events and all the like, and having a, a sense of observation, you know, because I, I believe that the things come easier when, you're, when you feel them, when it comes from your heart, you know, because everything I expressed in my, uh, my open letter was uh, things that I've actually lived and that have affected me on a personal level. And I think it's easier to express those things when they come from your heart. Wonderful. Now I'm just curious, what are you studying? Uh, so I'm, I'm a student at the Faculty of Agronomy and Agricultural Sciences at the University of Chang. Wow. Uh, specializing in uh, rural, social, economics and agricultural extension, second year. Wow, that's beautiful. Congratulations. So as you can see, I mean, I'm sorry I didn't ask you, Hope. Maybe you can come back and tell us what, what are you studying in the university? Just quickly, really quickly. Uh, I'm a second year medical student studying. Wonderful. Biomedical. Wonderful. I love this. I love this. So this is just to say that writing is not specific to all those who studied A, A1s and all the A's. I don't know. I don't know all of this series in the English, English system of education, but you should just realize that it's not because you studied arts or literature and all that you are the person who should write. You know, we have uh, a future uh, engineer in agriculture. We have a future medical doctor who are quite doing, they're doing quite well. Honestly, after reading Umel's work, I really thought he was a lawyer or something. I'm really positively surprised. Congratulations again to both of you. Um, I hope we can really have you guys come back and tell us that you've received your, um, your prizes. I am going to move on now to the main man. I don't know if we can have a drum roll. I wish Zoom could have this drum roll option so that we could talk about this, this one who's coming up now. Anyway, let me try and see if I can. I think I, I think I can do a drum roll with my mouth. Yeah, I please do. <laughs> we have a Wuru Wuru Auntie Felicia here. So I believe- You need I'm to say Auntie Felicia, they try for Compox today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's have the drum roll so that I can introduce this guy. Yeah, we can clap for the first person who is coming in. That's, that's worth it. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for those beautiful claps because this person actually won first place and their name is Agbo Anafo Awo. Are they here? Absolutely, they are. 
please, please let us see your pretty face. Congratulations for first place already. This is a great achievement. Agbo Anafo. Yes, you can unmute yourself and talk. I can see him actually. Okay, wonderful. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, welcome to Better Breed. Congratulations for first place. Thank you, Ma'am Sanano. On, on behalf of all those who wear glasses, um, we are proud that you represent the team well. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to ask you the question that I asked all of your predecessors. Um, what was your piece about and what was your writing experience? Okay, so um, when I saw the, the poster, I first heard it from a public relations poster, um, I saw the poster when I was around school, so I took about, I took it, and then I decided to write a nonfiction on the topic being and becoming familiar. So it just took me a while. I was just sponging on the topic, and after I decided to use to write from a literary perspective, where I used a lot of metaphors and um, similes. I wanted to talk about being a Cameroonian from a mental perspective, because we, um, a lot of the time when we talk about Cameroon and how the state of the country, we think that before in the 90s perhaps the country was um, was gold, it was the best thing that was there. I wanted to make everyone to understand that that's not actually how it was, and that um, where we were and where we are, it's not so different, but that there's a lot of work that we have to do to get to where we were, where we were. I thought it was Cameroonian now, the skills, the wrongs that um, we have done, and the horrible things in the country, and then to imagine a Cameroon where all these things were not there, almost in a dream state where one would sit and think about the best thing that Cameroon can be, but that sadly we are not yet there, and all we can do is to, to work hard and strive towards getting there. Wonderful. Now that you say it, can I dare to say you're the one who say I can only dare to dream? Yes, yeah, that was the title of my work, I Can Only Dare to Dream. Beautiful. I have to step in here and really say it was a beautiful, beautiful uh, piece. And one of the comments I made on this one was that I loved how you did in such a savvy way. You linked our history to the identity crisis that we are having right now. As you rightly, rightly said, we falsely believe that things were better in a not so far past. But when you actually look at it critically, it, it hasn't changed much. Things just seem to be so glaring now because maybe we have more information mm -hmm. to process and deal with. Um, now, um, could you now tell us, I don't know, could you, could you tell me um, what you study? Where do you school? Are you studying in Boya? Do you? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in the University of Boya. I'm a level 400 student studying journalism and mass communication. Sorry, could you come again? Ooh. Studying? I said, <laughs> I study in the University of Boya. I'm a level 400 student in journalism and mass communication. Journalism and mass communication. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So the literature students finally yeah. carried the day. Congratulations again. Um, and I would like to know, how did you find out about the, the contest? So basically, um, I, the first time I heard about the contest was from a public relations officer who happened to be a lecturer. But then I saw a poster of it um, on the campus here on one of the, the, the walls. So then I snapped it and then I went to the website where I got more information before I started writing. Okay. So do you read a lot? Do you write a lot? Um, yeah, my father, my father is a teacher. So we have basically a mini library at home. So from an early age, I've been reading lots of novels. Even right now, um, I read a lot of adventure and thriller novels. So I spend a lot of time reading, more than even on TV. So if I may ask, what kind of journalist do you want to become? Do you want to become a blogger, an editor, or an anchor? Um, I prefer anchoring, but I, I'm, I'm more linked to sports journalism. But, but I like to spread my wings. So I like to have a, a an open view. Yeah. 
Great, wonderful. Well, I must say congratulations again, and uh, hopefully we can soon have a family picture with you displaying your beautiful prize. So thank you again, Agbo. And that seals it for all the three winners of the writing contest, those who wrote in, in, in the English language. Um, I think now we are going to move on to the winners of uh, the writing contest who who adopted the French language. I'm going to give the floor now to Ma Felicia who's going to introduce Patrick. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Apologia. That was, that was beautiful. I am particularly impressed with how varied the perspectives of the consultants and also their, their background. Like you have a medical student, journalism, and mass communication, quite unpredictable, but I think this is this is the kind of engagement that we would like. And even their approach to, to, to the topic, to the theme, the, the approach is so is so diverse. But then what we are seeing is this engagement. And, and I really like that. I really like um uh, I see uh, I'm so happy that a journalist <laughs> in the making one, Ali Napachadat. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I want to thank you so much. I I really love the the work that um, um these 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 uh, younger ones are are putting in. Um, I liked the word active and passive. I am so interested in reading these. I, I know Dr. Monique will do everything to make sure that um we can actually access um these ACs. If um, Apollonia can be so inspired that she learned so much. From, from all of these, I'm sure that um, we all will be able to pick out um, a thing or two or even more from within them. So we'll now move to, to the French, um, to the French uh, winners and we have Patrick Mayo. Um, Patrick has been judging this forever. He's a pro. Uh, I think this is the third time he's judging um, the summer uh, Randy um, 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 use right contest. And so, Patrick, please over to you. Um, to us the honor. Okay, uh, merci, Auntie Felicia. Thank you. Actually, Monique asked me to put my, my video on, so uh, I, I think it'll be this level. So, it's like, okay, so I'm going to put it on. It's fine. Donc, uh, merci à, à, à tous les contestants. Merci, Auntie Felicia. Et je pense qu'il est temps, en fait, de passer à, à, nos, concur à, nos, à nos concurrentes, tous ceux qui ont, qui ont participé à, à la partie française. Et déjà, félicitations à tous les gagnants, que je vais appeler par ordre euh, de mérite, mais en commençant par, euh, en commençant par euh, les trois premiers. Euh, en fait, en, fait, en, en battant du troisième, donc je, vais, je vais commencer avec Exté Iwa de l'Université de, de Yaoundé 1. Est-ce qu'elle est sur l'appel Allô, Exté euh, Je ne suis pas sûr, Patrick, si Estelle est là, mais... Bon, euh, on va peut-être passer à Nguana, Ariane Flora, la deuxième. Euh, visiblement pas là aussi. Est-ce que... Euh, Nguana est connectée, mais je ne suis pas sûr si, si elle, elle nous entend. She's listening, ok. Euh, bon, peut-être on va passer au premier, peut-être Vanel Audrey. Est-ce qu'elle est sur l'appel? Um, oui, je suis là. Bonsoir Vanel Audrey, bonsoir. Bonsoir. Félicitations. Je pense que euh, les circonstances ont voulu que tu sois la seule personne à mesure de parler et connecter. Euh, félicitations pour, pour votre première place. Il euh, y, y a eu beaucoup de soumissions. Euh, et forcément, ça a été un plaisir, moi, en tant que juge, de lire tout ce que les jeunes avaient, avaient à proposer. Et j'ai été assez impressionné. Donc, peut-être pour, pour, pour commencer... Déjà, euh, comment est-ce que vous avez eu vent de, de, de cette compétition, de ce concours et, et, et quel était votre sentiment à l'idée de, de devoir euh, écrire sur le thème « Être et devenir camerounais » Ok, bon, déjà je tiens à dire que j'ai eu à participer à ce même concours l'année la, dernière. Quand c'était sur le thème okay. euh, « Dire, dire Cameroun, Unique, ce top » et en ce moment-là, j'avais fait ma mon texte en anglais. Cette année, donc, quand j'ai reçu la page qu'ils avaient relancé, je me suis dit, vu que je parle des deux langues, pourquoi ne pas essayer en français? J'ai fait mon texte en anglais. 
Excellent, excellent. Euh, et je veux dire, est-ce que, je veux dire, j'ai lu euh, le contenu qui était très bon. Je veux dire, comment est-ce que tu as abordé la rédaction de, 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 ton, de ta rédaction Je veux dire, quels, quels sont les éléments dont tu as tenu compte Parce que j'estime qu'en fait, pour pouvoir, euh, euh, pour moi, les personnes qui se sont distinguées, c'est-à-dire les, les, les autres personnes qui ont, qui ont été deuxième, troisième, ce qu'il fallait faire, en fait, à mon avis, c'était de bien ressortir la distinction entre, euh, d'un côté, être et, d'un autre côté, devenir camerounais. Et quand ça ressortait clairement, et quand c'était bien expliqué, pour moi, ça avait, ça avait du sens, en fait. Donc, comment est-ce que tu as, tu as abordé la rédaction De quoi est-ce que je t'ai inspiré Et comment ça s'est passé, en fait D'accord. Quand j'ai vu le thème d'abord, être et devenir camerounais, je me suis dit d'abord que le, le thème avait lieu d'être parce que être camerounais c'est déjà un, un, un truc en soi et devenir camerounais c'est autre chose du coup quand j'ai écrit mon texte je suis inspirée juste de mon vécu de ce que je vois autour de moi de, de, de ce que les gens ont dit de ce que je vois sur le bien et de là que j'ai commencé à écrire je me suis dit bon on vit comme ça entre camerounais on a cette particularité là on a ce qu'on fait entre nous on a ce que les autres personnes perçoivent pour nous donc, c'est à partir de tout ça que j'ai été. Bon, je me suis demandé, bon, je suis un fan de football, je me suis demandé si ça avait peut-être aussi un peu très à ce qui se passe avec les gens indomptables, en fait, c'est-à-dire, on a le côté, <rire> aime les esprits de vainqueur, esprit de gagnant. Est-ce que, bon, ça, ça, ça aussi un peu joué derrière dans ta, dans ta façon d'aborder, en fait, la rédaction de, 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 de ton manuscrit <rire> Bon, alors, dans mon texte, il y a quelques parties qui abordent un peu ce côté du sport. Bon, oui, ça, ça joue un grand rôle parce que bon, Cameroun, on, le sport, le football en particulier, on est vraiment ancré dans ça. Donc, voilà. et super. Et donc, du coup, est-ce qu'on peut savoir un peu plus sur toi? Je veux dire, qu'est-ce que tu étudies? Quels sont tes projets pour euh, l'avenir, le futur? Qu'est-ce que tu, tu envisages de faire euh, dans l'avenir, en fait? Euh, alors, moi, je suis, je suis étudiante en filière à l'école supérieure des sciences et techniques de l'information et de la communication ici à Yaoundé. Et je suis en, en, au niveau 3 maintenant. Je ne sais pas donc très bien que je vais obtenir ma licence. C'est fantastique. Euh, donc, les romans, c'est des ambitions de travailler dans des métiers de la communication ou d'être journaliste. À, à pas journaliste, pas journaliste de... C'est vrai que communication, journalisme, ça se comprend un peu, mais je suis plus dans la, dans la communication. Dans... D'accord. D'accord, excellent. Euh, et donc, du coup, je veux dire, qu'est-ce que tu peux dire à, à Better Breed Parce que euh, nous avons cette vision de vraiment donner de la, voix, la voix aux jeunes. Euh, nous voulons euh, que les jeunes s'expriment. Et à chaque fois, moi, je fais la, je fais, je fais le, en fait, la, la, la correction des, 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 des rédactions des, des EC depuis trois ans. Et je suis toujours assez inspiré par ce que les, les jeunes peuvent proposer comme idée. Je veux dire, on, a, on a tendance à penser que bon, la jeunesse, ça va, il n'y a pas de futur. Mais quand on voit des jeunes avec des idées intéressantes, on se dit que bon, il y a peut-être un avenir. En fait, en fait bon, la preuve, la preuve tu, tu as gagné le concours en fait, de, de la rédaction. Bon, euh, je ne sais pas, votre question, c'est laquelle c'est donc, comprendre ce que tu peux dire à Better Breed, c'est-à-dire, est-ce que Better Breed, est-ce que tu, tu participeras l'année prochaine, est-ce que tu encourageras d'autres personnes à, euh, à s'investir dans ce concours? Ok, bon, alors, Better Breed, déjà, je trouve que c'est une très belle initiative, c'est une magnifique initiative, parce que, pourquoi? Parce que ça permet aux gens de dire ce qu'ils ont, qu ont à dire, en fait, et aux jeunes en particulier. C'est une plateforme qui permet de s'exprimer, de créer, de, vraiment de sortir son génie. Donc, c'est une belle initiative et je ne sais pas, parler à d'autres que c'est possible pour participer qui l'occasion. Ok, uh, fantastique. Uh, merci Vanel Audrey, félicitations une fois de plus pour ton premier prix. Uh, et on te souhaite beaucoup de, de courage pour la suite en fait. Okay, maybe I'm going to make a quick uh, summary of, of my discussion uh, with Vanel Audrey, um, who happens to be actually our first, so she's, she's uh, the overall winner. Uh, she came up uh, first uh, 
for this uh, particular context. And uh, just had a quick few questions about uh, her background first. And she happens to be a student of the Advanced School of Mass Communications in, in Yaoundé. She's a third year student. And she has an ambition to be uh, a communications professional, probably corporate communications uh, expert. Uh, and she says, uh, I mean, what, what, what she said is, uh, she actually took part in, in, in the one we did last year, which was about uh, Dear Cameroon. Uh, unfortunately, uh, she watched, I mean, she, she, she didn't claim any prize, but when she saw the opportunity to actually do it in French this year, she was quite excited and, um, what I said to her is that for me, what uh, was really important was to see the distinction between uh, being Cameroonian uh, on one hand and becoming Cameroonian on, on the other hand. And uh, for, for me, those essays that had this clear distinction uh, were the clear winners for me. And uh, I think she did that quite well. Uh, like first, discussing what being a Cameroonian is actually all about, you know, in terms of identity, origins, where we come from, and then. Uh, becoming in terms of what we need to do as a nation to to be a better Cameroon and how, how we need to work together to to get there and and, and that that's, that's what she did well in my opinion and I think uh, even for the English contestant that was that was the thing that really stuck out so um, I, I was really impressed to be honest because uh, each year I tell Monique okay are we going to get good essays like are we going to get good content and uh, I'm never disappointed uh, I think it's one of the best best part of by year, usually between January and, and February, like having to read all the the Better Breed contestants. So um, she, she also feels very excited about Better Breed, what we are doing. So this will be an encouragement to, to all of us. Uh, she's been talking about uh, Better Breed to, to classmates, other people around her, and she likes that uh, young people are actually uh, actively taking part in making sure we have a better Cameroon. And, you know, in, in one way or another, she hopes to be part of this and, you know, participate in that. So I think it's, it's also maybe a discussion we need to have around how we can involve more uh, French speaking, uh, I don't know, young people, uh, like what we are doing. Uh, because uh, I was quite surprised to see uh, the level of enthusiasm we had from like French writers for this uh, uh, particular contest. And uh, for me, it's, 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 it's a strong encouragement. And... Congratulations to, to Vanel Audrey. Congratulations to uh, Ariane Flora. I mean, she couldn't maybe speak up because of maybe technical issues, Mike. And, and to Esther Iwa, they did, they did really well. Uh, they should be proud, not only them, but all the, the contestants uh, who actually took upon themselves to, to write down something about uh, being and becoming Cameroonian. So I already feel excited about next year's team. And uh, well done to everyone, to, 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 to all the French contestants. And then... Uh, also to, to Agbo, Anafo, to Awonsa, and then to, to Opari for, for taking uh, the third, uh, sorry, the first, second, and, and third place, uh, respectively. Uh, thank you very much, and Felicia. Thank you so much, Patrick. See me, if you can hear me. Yes, we can. The next winner. Auntie Felicia, you're muted. We cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes. We'd also like to see you. <laughs> you're muted again. Yes, I think it's better. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, please. I think I hear you. Okay. Um, Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And congratulations once more to all the, the winners. Um, I should, I, for full disclosure, because some people are saying uh, Auntie Felicia doesn't understand French. Please, Ali, Monique, and myself, we, we understand French. But for the sake of peace, and to spare you the sign of your blood pressure. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to make sure I have that out of the way. Um, um, I, we, hear, we, we are sure that by now the, the winners all have their certificates um, with them. Um, if so, we would like them to, to, to brandish you know, their certificate. You know, let's see. Let's see if you all have, at least those who are here. 
Can we see that? So I don't know. I cannot see my screen at all. I don't know what's happening, but maybe you, um, um, Dr. Moni, maybe you can confirm if the Spanish. Yes, Umel has his. I don't know if the other contestants heard what we require of them. Hope, do you have your certificate? Yes, I do. Could we maybe see it? You could turn on your video and brandish it. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Akbar. Thank you, Umel. Est-ce que Vanel a son certificat? Je ne sais pas si elle peut nous montrer son certificat. Hello, Vanel. Est-ce que tu es encore sur l'appel? Akbar, could you please mute yourself? Um, oui, je vous suis, mais je n'ai pas le certificat ici. Il est avec Esther de Second Runner Up. Ah, d'accord. Vous êtes amis, c'est ça? En quelque sorte, oui. Ah, oh, c'est dommage, c'est dommage. Bon, c'est pas grave, c'est pas grave. Euh, je sais pas. Maybe um, Ali wants to take a, a, I don't know, family picture with all contestants showing their certificates. I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't have mine here. It's all right. Well, congratulations to all of you and also to all those who couldn't be with us. Thank you very much. Monique? Yes. Um, I just want to say thank you again, for, especially to our judges who read your essays, graded them, made corrections. Apollonia went into full teacher mode and made corrections on them so that um, you can edit and submit again. And we're going to share these winning essays throughout this week, this upcoming week, we're going to amplify your voices so others can read. And um, Patrick is going to translate what I'm saying now, so those that are following the translation that are following can also understand this as we're rounding up. But I am also um, hoping that you all year will be, as can I say, um, will be prophets, prophets of the contest or missionaries of the contest to tell others about it and tell others about the experience writing. And hopefully next year we have a lot more entries, especially some um, French contestants, um, contestants in French who this is the first time, although we have this is the eighth edition of the Summerland Youth Ride Contest, this is the first edition of the contest that welcomes submissions in French. So, um, um, participants like winners like Audrey, congratulations for finding out about the news in the first place, submitting and winning. I will also like to say, I hope everybody can confirm that they have received their cash prizes. Can you confirm? All right, let's put your thumbs up. You confirmed that you got the cash prize from Lorraine. Everybody okay? Because I think she wrote already. Everybody goes, perfect. And that said, over to Patrick, who, who will do like the closing to address those in French. And then Auntie Kelly will say bye to us. Okay, super, merci, merci, Monique. Uh, en gros, c'est c'est la fin de, de, notre, de notre discussion. Euh, je pense qu'il y, y, y a quelques points à retenir. Le premier, c'est que nous allons euh, revoir les, les contenus pour éventuellement les publier sur, sur nos différentes plateformes pour que toutes les personnes qui nous, qui nous suivent aient l'occasion euh, en fait de, de relire ce que vous avez proposé comme, 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 comme rédaction ou comme échec. Et euh, c'est l'occasion pour nous de vous inviter à être des, des ambassadeurs euh, de cette initiative parce que nous, sommes, nous en sommes à la huitième édition. Euh, la neuvième édition, c'est 
commencer l'année prochaine et, et nous espérons que vous encouragerez d'autres personnes à, 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 cette, à cette initiative qui est très bonne, qui permet à la jeunesse de, de s'exprimer. C'est l'occasion pour nous de remercier notre, notre coordinatrice exécutive, euh, Monique euh, Kouachou. Tout le travail qu'elle a bas chaque année. Pourra... Je crois que nous avons perdu Patrick. Euh, Vanel, tu voudrais dire quelque chose? Euh, non, 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 je n'ai plus rien à dire. Parce qu'on a vu que tu as levé la main là. Non, non, vous avez demandé de faire signe tout à l'heure, donc c'est pour ça que je l'ai fait. Ah, d'accord, ça veut dire que tu as reçu, tu as reçu ton prix, c'est ça? Yes. Oui, je suis merci. Désolé, donc c'est l'occasion pour nous de remercier Monique Kouacho, qui est notre coordinatrice exécutive, pour tout le travail qu'elle a bas chaque année pour pouvoir euh, non seulement coordonner les, les activités de Better Breed, mais aussi euh, organiser chaque année euh, le concours Samarandi. Et nous espérons que vous serez beaucoup plus nombreux les, les années à venir. Et vous voudrez bien confirmer dans le chat si euh, vous avez déjà reçu votre, euh, votre prix, votre, euh, votre prix en, en mobile money ou en, en orange money. Merci. Euh, donc, je vais passer le, la parole à Antti Félicia. OK. Thank you, guys. Um, uh, I would like to first of all say that uh, this has been a wonderful experience for me, especially um, listening to all the, the, the winners and um, Nice meeting you, Patrick, and nice meeting you, uh, Apollonia. Uh, Better Breed is always on the lookout, always looking for, for volunteers. And we are talking about active um, citizenship, and this, this is a way in which um, we can all be active. So this is a message to those listening and to the missionaries of, of, um, of, of this summer and right and Better Breed that Better Breed is always open for volunteers to run its projects. Um, I, would, I would end it here by telling you to follow and keep yourself updated on the activities of Better Breed by following their social media pages. Uh, Facebook is Better Breed Cameroon, Instagram, Twitter. Okay, you guys, guys, this has been a wonderful thing. I have my shorter sauce. Uh, well, I want to just go finish the uh, season and now. It's made already start commode. Out in the fire. Okay, thank you. Congratulations again to the winners. Ali, we could chat after. Don't 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 Enjoy the rest of thank the day. You. Merci. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Felicia. Thank you very much. All the winners have trotter sauce for me. Yes, that trotter sauce will never ever test us, so we must test us. Can you know if I will send you a recipe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, guys. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Have a nice weekend. Monique, if you can hang on, please. Yes. Monique. Yes, Steve Baxall. 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 Uh, Monique, I think Steve Backshall is talking to you. Yeah. Steve. I am sorry, I have some extreme internet difficulty right now. I will try to fix my internet and I will send a, 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 a message to Dr. Monique. Caraccio. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Bye. Don't leave. Uh, Monique, do you know who this Steve Backshall is? No, I have no clue. Okay, that's a Zoom bomb. I, I should have kicked them out. I, I figured because I've kicked out a couple. 
Yes, I think I have one called Lillian, and I just believe the two that yeah. you were looking for. I mean, the idleness of this generation is beyond me. Of all the ways to entertain yourself. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm removing anyone else who's still there. Okay, we're just moving them. Okay. Oh, okay, it's depressing. Ah. Wait, just I hang on, hang on, hang on one minute. Like, I need to call Patrick a little bit for a bit. But there's something I've been trying to ask him. Okay. Hi, Patrick. Thank you so much for doing this uh, on something very much unrelated. I need your help. And if you can help, I'll really appreciate it. So I've been trying to create uh, a diaspora savings account with EcoBank and it's been unfortunately, and but surprisingly impossible. Who do I need to shop to create that? Cameroonian passport. And the broadcast on Facebook. <laughs> 